What's up? Well, okay, thanks, Kino. <laughs> My bad, I didn't know you were doing another I'm leaving show. it in. What's up, YouTube? What you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to another Pokemon battle video where we're continuing to learn competitive Pokemon, as you heard, with Coach Kino. Hello. <laughs> um, today, we're, as opposed to the last video, we're actually going to be winning some games today uh, the because the team that we have has been approved. Um, ooh, we just switched to... Wait, hold on. What song is this? This is a... Uh, Rustboro City, let's go. Anyway, so to recap the team real quick, and feel free to jump in with your uh, with your expert analysis. Um, we have Kartana with fight fighting Z fighting Kartana. <laughs> Jesus, words. Uh, we have Ravombi with nice HP fire to knock off those fair thorns. We have a Focus Sash. Um, we also it have actually won't knock them out. It'll do a lot. It'll do enough to the point that Lele can. Uh... Can just win the game. Got and Mimic you can win the game. And Tyranitar can win the game. Speaking of, we have Mimic you for the first time. Totem Mimic you, so it'll be a little bigger than usual. Uh, we got Life Orb. We hit hard. This thing has destroyed my life multiple times. Uh, we have Lele, Twisted Spoon, Super Strong, Combine, Combine, Combine. Let me know if, if you watch this video and you know what Combine, Combine, Combine is from. You let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, then we have Focus Ash Mamo. I hear this is actually Coach Kino's favorite set uh, <laughs> uh, of Mamo Slime. I, I hear that he know. he uses it online at 4 a.m. Uh, <laughs> never mind. I was about to take that to a dark place. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, oh, God. we have we have Thick Mamo Slime, uh, and we have Mega Tyranitar with Ice Punch and Thunder Punch. And after I click that Dragon Dance, I've been told that I can throw some things. So let's That's jump in. Okay, this guy so... got a pile of swine. Let's go. Pile of swine to the top. <laughs> I'm typing it. Pile of swine to... TTT. TTT. T -T -T. Let's see, cause yeah. see if he knows. Uh, all right. So now you were telling me something about two different leads. But from what about I see what? here, I think from like, depending on who, figuring out who we're going to lead per team. But I still think our best choice is to lead Mammo. Yeah, I like Mammo a lot. Um, get the rocks up as soon as possible. He said, Swole DDD needs a mega evolution. I don't know what that means. I have um, no earthly idea. Is that idea. like Empoleon, maybe? Uh-oh. Yo, what if you're freeze dry? He should switch out fearing free freeze dry, if we're being perfectly honest. He should not click Dragon Dance right here. I know he's going to, but he really shouldn't. Either way, you know, just get up your rocks. <laughs> but there's no way he's not going to... Oh, he even mega evolved for us, so now play rough knocks him out. Cool. And we can Earthquake, so we don't have to risk uh, Ice Crash. Awesome. So we're okay with this. We're going to just kind of let him kill our Mammoth Swine. Oh, he, oh now please he don't taunts. taunt me. Oh, no. Don't uh -oh. taunt me, please. Oh, no. Please don't taunt me. He Earthquake. Oh, you know what I just realized? Mold Breaker is actually going to make Mimikyu's sub, like, not work. So there's that. Um, but you, we still have Rebombi in the back, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad about that, so... You can kind of just keep earthquake him. If he's rest, he's rest, but I'm not worried about that. Why, why did I start a conversation here? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. And now DDD's nuts. <laughs> this guy's a legend. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love I love this part of the ladder. Okay, just just so stop wait. talking to him. Just stop talking to him. What am I supposed him. to do? <laughs> just keep earthquaking him. <laughs> and he had the same idea, apparently. All right, so you know what's cool? One of the reasons I love Rabambi so much is because it's so fast and fast. In fact, we should still be faster than this Gyarados, even though he's at plus one. So uh, you can just kind of moonblast this. And then when he goes Heatran afterwards, you can stun spore it or get up your sticky webs. You know, this is one of those that I'm, I'm happy that the text is hidden behind the... Yeah. Oh, why was he faster? Hello? Is this Jolly? I mean, he's Crunch EQ. It's a whack set anyways, but whatever. All right, so here's some really cool tech, right? If you scroll to the top and click Battle Options, you can click <laughs> Ignore Spectators. Wait, but That's he's the not... Secret tech. No, I can click Ignore Opponent. He's the oh, opponent. yeah, Ignore Opponent. My bad. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so um, now I definitely listen. don't stay in. Um, uh, no, you sack you this. It's fine. You don't you don't need Ribombi for anything. Um, you can either go for the Stun Spore. Yeah, you can Sticky Web. Sticky Web's good, too. As he he just protects anyways. That's kind of what I figured he would do to get the speed boost. Um, but now you can uh, you can just either stun spore or HP fire. 
HP fire should do a decent chunk. He's gonna rock to him, so you're dead. But you'll never know fine. what I. You'll never know what I clicked. I will um, never know what you clicked. I clicked. Um, uh, I actually clicked Sticky Web again, but. Um. <laughs> uh, you kind of. I think you have to go mimic you here. Cartana can eat a hit, but it can't really hit it back. And Tyranitar does not want to take a Mega Horn. So at least mimic you. Like we resist most of the stuff he does. Um, Shadow Claw should do a decent amount because Life Orb, and he can't really. He can't hurt us because we're behind our disguise. Oh, but apparently he can toxic us, so there's that. But he's not breaking our disguise, which is like, that's important. All right, I'm gonna give you a decision. You can hard read the protect and click swords dance and potentially throw away the game or also get a huge advantage. All right. Cool. You Good know play. me. You can't just say you can All protect. Right. Get your kill. Claim your kill. You got it. You got it. This is how Mimikyu has swept me in my life. Oh my God. He's really doing this. Yeah, and he's I gonna mean, protect gotta... again. He's gonna protect mm, again. I'm scared. Maybe. You don't need to, just Shadow Claw. Actually, Shadow Sneak. Yeah, because I was okay. If he substitutes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak would knock him out from that range. Or at least prevent a sub. He can't sub here, though. So he's actually. Right. He's gonna 1v1 you right now, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, um, he's gonna protect. No! Yep. Swords Dance, just to know. Just to let him know you're in your head. I was gonna say you should uh, Shadow Sneak there, though, because to not let him get a, uh, get a sub up. He still can't sub, which is nice. Um, like you, you have to go Kartana now, which is annoying. But you have to click a uh, knockoff. The moves are. <laughs> We're using a lot of the same mons that we just did, and the moves are in different places. So it's oh, yeah. <laughs> quite a bit. That's funny. This one is Swords Dance, though. I keep almost clicking like. I don't know, I've almost thrown it like four times. Now he's definitely going to Ice Beam, right? Uh, this is probably Ash Greninja. He's probably going to Dark Pulse, but he could also Hydro Pump. Um, because Hydro Pump, Specs Hydro Pump probably kills Kartana. I mean, he, well, it doesn't matter. Um, what's the win condition right now? Like, Lele is not really going to be winning us. Oh. Greninja is really annoying. I think sacking Lele is the play here. Lele can't win the game because um, because of Heatran, but Kartana is still useful because you got webs up. So I think you sack Lele here, and depending on his attack, you can go into Tyranitar. The HP fires. So he is Protean. That's good to know. Um, you can just Psy Shock here for free. I wouldn't even bother. Yeah, I wouldn't bother predicting the Heatran because uh, you're still not going to do much at plus one, anyways. We've got to get wins. At this point, though, to be honest, I, yeah, honestly, I would just, I would side shock again. I would just keep on side shocking him. Like, if the plan was to sack Lele anyways, we may as well get as much damage as possible. The only thing I'm honestly scared about is that, um, is that Pilo Swine. That thing can actually beat us. All right, let's see what he wanted to go. Free fire spins. What a, what a god. Um, I can just keep side shocking. Psy shock away. We're getting enough damage to the point that um actually Cortana this dies. Oh yeah, oh he's gonna die nice. So if we kill this, then we actually can just win with smart strike with Cartana and the game's over. Wait, we have smart strike, right? Tell me we have smart strike. Oh we got defog. We don't have it. Okay, I was trying to be joking, but apparently we don't have it. What do we, we have? Do we have knock off, SD. leaf blade, SD. oh we have SD, that's different. <clears throat> he went pilo swine, he's gonna alright, you should yeah, I yeah, you should still switch out uh into I would say Kartana here. Because you can take an earthquake. I don't want him to ice shard you, and you, the re the only reason we're saving Lele now is because next time it comes in, he's going to uh stop priority with the psychic terrain, and that's gonna be nice against this pilo swine. Also now you have a free leaf blade. Actually, sorry, you have a free uh, Fight DMZ, and that should... Okay, I was going to say, I was like... <laughs> yeah, because now you're at plus one, and now Leaf Blade should kill Ninetales after rocks. So, you won. Good job. Leaf Blade Great. or... Oh, I don't have it. Never mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you did have Smart Strike, then Smart Strike would be the play. So, this guy played his team really weird. He didn't bother getting Aurora Veil up at any point, even though that's literally the only purpose of Alolan Ninetales. The Pokemon kind of sucks otherwise. Um, he didn't, he didn't even try and do that. And also, Ninetales is typically only used on, like, hyper offense teams. No, you want to get your rocks up. I can't. Oh, he didn't, he just left. Um, but, um, what did, was you, did you ignore him? 
It says that he left right above the uh, the rating. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway. But, um, yeah, Nine Tails, the idea around Nine Tails, you want to run it on offensive teams where you get your rocks up, you get the Aurora Veil up, and you just swords dance and dragon dance away and just hit things really hard, and they can't really hit you back for as hard because of the Veil. So it's it's a very hyper offensive. Uh, it goes on it, go, it goes on very hyper offensive build, but this guy's team was like not that. He had a Scolipede, a Stolly Scolipede, and a Pile Swine. And I don't even know what that uh, what that heat trend was, but next game, wow, our first Volcarona. So here, we definitely really want webs, but we also definitely really want rocks because of the Volcarona. And also his um, his uh, what's it called? Tapu Fini is definitely going to be defog. Tapu Lele can just destroy his team, which is really cool. I think webs are a little bit more helpful than than rocks for that, because at plus one you should be able to kill everything anyways. So you're um, saying lead Rabambi? Yeah, I think leading Rabambi is good here. Like, typically when you see a Volcarona, you want to get rocks up ASAP. But um, because Lele is so good against him, once webs go up, I think webs is fine. Um, this is slower than you, and it's not the prankster version. It's, it might nasty plot, but I'm just going to vault. Yeah, um, webs so are super free here. So he's Scarf. Yeah, he's got to be Scarf. Goes into Finny, so he's going to defog here, right? But this should be a pretty free... Uh, Let's see, you can go Kartana, you can go, um, you can go Lele, you can go Kartana, you can go, I wouldn't go Mimikyu just yet. Well, that wouldn't be bad, you could go Mimikyu and set up an SD. He actually Moonblasted, wow, what a monster. Now you're forced to Leaf Blade, which sucks, because he can go into his, uh, his Volcarona. In fact, I would knock off here. Yeah, Oops. he should probably just knock off. Too late. Because he had, he really had to switch. Just don't get burn bodied. Alright, you're good. So you have a really good switch into this, which is T-Tar, which is why I wasn't too worried about the Volcarona. He doubles. He read Finny. me. <clears throat> yeah, he's making he's making good plays, but like okay. you can you can Dragon Mega Evolve Dragon Dance here because he can't really do much to you, and like we can start hurting him a lot. You might Wait. even be able to get two Dragon Dances. Water move slash Dragon move, or excuse me, Water move slash Fairy move <clears throat> won't hurt. No, you're you're a Tyranitar. This is probably a defensive Tapu Fini, and you're in Sand, which makes you uh, stronger. So honestly, you can go for another Dragon Dance. Actually, well, yeah, it's fine. Go for it. You said it. Okay. No, you're good. You're good. See, like, that didn't do much. And you can you can Thunder Punch here now. He really should not go um, Thunderous because you could just click Stone Edge. So I think Thunder Punch is a fine play. He goes Mawile. Gets an Intimidate. That's, a, that's, not, that's not a bad play. That's a lot. You can Thunder Punch again now. Like, again, he could go into his um, Thunderous here, but at this point, we like we kind of got the damage we wanted already. We don't really have to be greedy. If you want to be greedy, then, like, by all means, click Ice Punch. Um, or actually, Crunch would be better. Like, if you want to be greedy and see if you can kill the Thunderous, click Crunch. But Thunder Punch is always safe. Mm. Actually, a plus one. I wonder if Mega Mobile dies. We should calc that. That'd be good to calc. Because, like, Mega Tyranitar is really strong. Wait, a plus, a plus one what kills? Oops, I didn't put it in here. Yeah, a plus one, and what does Crunch do? Crunch does 38. Yeah, actually, you know what? You can just click Crunch. It's a no drawback play. He doesn't have a switch in. You can claim your kill. So yeah, he's going to sucker for minimal damage. That was like his last ditch effort, sucker punch. So now he gets to go into his Thunderous, and it's Choice Scarf, and is almost definitely going to click Focus Blast. Oh. So that gives me a chance to go straight to Mimikyu? No? Do I sack um, Tyranitar? You do not. Don't sack Tyranitar. Tyranitar is awesome. Tyranitar is a good boy. He went this instead, so go ahead and Ice Punch this real quick. <laughs> what? I don't know why I did that. I feel like I didn't even have to tell you that, but of course no, it happened. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... I should drop a, a smile. And Ferrothorn, I guess to scout, but like whatever. Honestly, we want to weaken this, so you can um you can crunch this also. Like just just get your damage, and then your Tapu Lele is gonna win. It doesn't matter that he's gonna knock out Titar now. Cool. Oh no! So, terrible. Yeah. So now you can go into Lele, and uh, claim your kill with the HP Fire. Or if you want to read a hard read a switch, I definitely he doesn't have a switch in. I really wouldn't try and predict anything. I would just HP fire. Oh, he could have. All right, well. Um. Now he's gonna switch. So now yeah, I feel like maybe. 
He doesn't have a switch in his thing. Like, what's he going to switch to? He could switch Thunderous. But um, in that case, we could go Mamo, to be honest. So I, I think HP Fire is still the safest play. Went Volcarona. Oh, yeah, this is faster also. I forgot. I mean, I think you live anyway, so you can just side shock him. We'll find out if we live. About... Oh, you're faster. He was modest. Don't be modest, Volcarona. Always run uh, timid. All right, I'm gonna Unless he was the defensive Volk set, which is bad. Oh, you know what? He probably thought you were you were choice locked. That's funny. Hello? Okay, you know what? Go ahead, go ahead and call mind up. This guy's not respecting top of the lane. Eh? Go ahead and call mind up on this guy real quick. Show him who's boss. Yum. I wouldn't call mind again because now he can make the hard thunder switch. I know you wanted to, I know. <laughs> but you can um you can moon blast him now. Moon blast will do more because Oh, you're twisted spoon. Just kidding. Go for a second. <laughs> I was definitely like hovering over calm mind. I mean, honestly, either one is fine. They're both going to do a ton of damage. My, my mind said, calm mind, calm mind, calm mind. All right, so he's sacking Ferrothorn, which is cool. Um, you just HP fire. At this point, honestly, just attack what's in front of you. Went Garchomp. That's fine. Um, you can switch out here. You don't want to stay in because this is faster than you. Um, Ribombi's fine. You don't need webs at this point. Well, you kind of do, actually. Do you? No, I don't think you do. You can sack Rabambi. Because Mimikyu still has its disguise and um and what's his name? Mammo still has its sash, so. Um Go Mammo now to Ice Cold Crash. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. Exactly. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Come on. Hit me hit me hit me with your best. Okay, well. I guess you'll just keep making good plays. Um Let's see. I, w I am curious as to what set his uh, Garchomp is. I'm scared. I don't think his Garchomp's done anything. You can go into Lele. Like, Lele should be able to eat a hit and then fire back a uh, Psyshock. That did a lot. Mm. Oh, he got the special attack lower. That sucks. I think at this point, though, like, you can still Psyshock for damage, and now we can go for a Mimikyu sweep. Because his, uh, his Ferrothorn's been so weakened. Oh my god, why is everyone running these berries? We would have... I think he would have died if we didn't if he didn't get the drop, but... Uh, so I'm going to go mimic you, I'm going to click SD, and then I'm going to run I wouldn't through. do it just yet. I, you should keep your disguise intact for late game. I would still go Kartana and click, uh, click Leaf Blade. So he goes hard thunders. This guy's making plays. It did a um, lot, though. Yeah, did a lot. Um, because you're Sash, you can go Mamo. And I think we're going to make a, a big play after this. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah go Mamo. Why not? Bet he volts. With... No, he'll... Okay. All right, nice. cool. Nice. All right, so you can... All right. You can make a play here if you want to. You can go for the... Um... You can... Uh... You can EQ. Oh, actually, his Tapu Fini is really low now, isn't it? Oh, it's re... oh, because he hit the freaking berry. I hate those berries. Um, he's Scarf, actually. He has to switch out. We forgot about that. So right. you, this is actually a pretty free... You can either Earthquake, or if you're feeling really, really fancy, you can double to Kartana. He's not going to switch in one of... He's not going to switch in Garchomp, for sure. He's not going to switch in... He might switch in... No, he's going to switch in Finny. Okay. He might switch in Ferrothorn, which is why I think Earthquake might be a better play than doubling to Kart. But I'm pretty sure he's going to go Finny. So I would just earthquake. Or sorry, if he's gonna go Finny, all right. Here's here's the thing. If you think he's gonna go Finny? Go Kartana. If you think he's gonna sack Ferrothorn, just earthquake. And did we pick the right one? Nice, very nice. I am um, okay, but now he's gonna switch right back. Here you can go for. I would. I would go for knockoff here. He goes Pharaoh. Okay, so you get a boost. Oh, you don't get a boost. That's annoying. Oh, we're taking damage too. Um, I mean, you can knock again, anyways. But now I get a boost. But am, yeah, am but I, it doesn't really matter. Am I am I dead before I can attack again? No, you're good. You can just knock. And also because we're clicking the same move, we're he he might think we're Scarf and go into Tapu Fini after Ferrothorn dies, and then we can kill it with Leaf Blade. 
So let's see if he thinks we're scarf. All right, I'm gonna type in chat real quick. Oh man, I wish I could do a different. That's risky move. though, because if we are scarf, this dies to knock off also. Um. So let's see. Um, I'm gonna give you. All right. So at this point, it's gonna require a little bit of outplaying. I'm gonna let you make the decisions. Um, if he volt switches again, well, we die to volt switch, right? Um, but he could also risk the focus blast. Those are his two plays: volt switch or focus blast. I guess he could HP ice also. But basically, um, if he risks focus blast, I'm dead. Well, Mamo has its sash, and then you can ice shard it and kill it. You went for HP ice. That did nothing. So this is a super free Earthquake, and you definitely want an Earthquake here. Yes. Because that should the Earthquake should do enough for you to win with Mimikyu. Mimikyu sweep? Sweep? Swap? That's, that's the plan. Swap? <laughs> Swap. Cool, and you can Earthquake. All right. Actually, yeah, you can Earthquake again, because Ice Shard is just going to kill the Thunderous anyways, I'm pretty sure. Here goes Thunderous. I'm pretty, let me make sure, I'm pretty sure Ice Shard kills this. Even though we're Focus Sash. And this is why I hate Focus Sash. Are we Jolly, by the way, or are we Adamant? Uh, we're Jolly, aren't we? Yeah, we're Jolly. Yeah, we are Jolly. All right. Ice Shard does 58 min. All right, you got it. Go ahead and Ice Shard that boy. I don't know if he thinks he we don't have it or what. Maybe he thinks this is Choice Scarf, who knows, but. Goodbye. All right, and yeah, Mammal Swine's actually gonna sweep. Let's go, Mammo. All right, he forfeit, but Mammal Swine did sweep there. That boy testing in the bank. Because I think Garchomp dies too, assuming it was a, well, it wasn't Scarf Garchomp, it's probably Z. But uh, I shard does 70, or it's actually a roll, but you could have done that and then Mimikyu won anyways. So yeah, that was GG. All right, well, this team is, 2-0, but the last team was like, oh, okay. Only half of that team loaded in at first. So, <laughs> I see a Ferrothorn. We got answers for that. I see mm -hmm. a, uh, a Coco. We got answers for that. I see kind a of. Pelipper. Uh, I mean, uh, what's his name? Lele is going to run train through his team once Pelipper dies. So there are two things we want right now. We really want rocks. We also really want webs. Webs are going to be really nice for the Coco. I think rocks might be a bigger priority though, because we want to get rid of his rain as fast as possible. We also have a little bit of a, oh, that's annoying. Um, hmm, no switching, huh? Look at that. We, I think we want rocks anyways, and we'll see what he locks himself into. What makes you so sure that he is Scarf? Uh, or, uh, punch. Specs. Scarf, ew, this will not be specs. It could be banned. I don't know why I said specs. You knew what I meant. Yeah. The one for the attack and move. Yeah. Yo, specs cart, that's heat. Alright. So, um, you went for Sacred Sword. And now I switch into Lele. I would not risk Lele in case he isn't Scarf. Because he could definitely be Z. Well, he... Yeah, this is probably Z, actually. I would probably just Ice Shard this. Get some... Start getting some damage. Alright, he double Sacred Swords. So now we can go into our Mimikyu. Basically, if he switches out, we know he's Scarf. And if he doesn't, then we can... Ass then we'll, well, if he does another attack, obviously. Um, Ferrothorn's probably going to come in. Which is a little annoying. Um, Am I about yeah, to double to Lele? You could double to Lele. Well, uh, no, I wouldn't do that because HP Fire won't kill Lele from full. I think um, if you think he is Scarf and going to switch, you should probably Swords Dance. He goes Pelipper. Interesting. What's he, what's Pel what, what can Pelipper do to me? Yeah, he's just going to U-turn. So you can go for the uh, play rough here, and please don't miss. I, I didn't know the play rough could miss, so I'm not going to be a, missing. That's a good sign. That's definitely a good sign. Because I, I, I've never missed a play rough in my life. Knock on wood. Ah, we're good. We're good? All right. Hit we're him good. with that play rough. 
And if I miss, the stream might end immediately. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. He also has a decision to make, because he could stay in and defog. I don't think play rough. Oh, he goes hard, Ferrothorn. Okay. Let's see how much that does. Nice damage. Oh, you can Shadow Claw that. Shadow Claw. Uh, I might kill. It's going to be close. I don't think it will, but he can't really damage us is the nice thing. The, in my mind, I was like, dang, that did nothing. <laughs> and then you were immediately like, dang, <laughs> that damage. Yeah. For, for a resisted hit, that was pretty nice. Also, Ferrothorn's so bulky. So, like, in comparison, it was, like, pretty good. Gonna pop our Disguise with Gyro Ball, but that's cool. We can uh, fire off another nice and easy Shadow Claw. As he goes into the Coco. I don't know why he's trying to sack his Coco, but we will definitely take that. Thank you. Thank you for sacking one of the scariest Pokemon you have. And honestly, the only reason we needed Sticky Webs was for Top of Coco. Now we're good. So now Rabambi can come in. You stun yeah, well, He's got a turn of rain left, so we got to deal with that first. Actually, so he's probably got four turns of rain left because he is a. Uh, oh rock. yeah. So he's probably gonna go uh, Swampert. I would assume Swampert is the answer here, yeah. Um, but I would just Shadow Sneak the Swampert to start getting damage on it. What about the Cartana, Cartana. that just came up? That's actually that we know is. Uh, Scarf. I think you have to go hard into your own Kartana. You can't let him get that boost. Yeah. And we'll eat that. Nice. So here, um... I'm about to Z, I'm about to Z fight. Yeah, you know what? Go for it. I don't see a reason not to. Even if he goes into Tornadus, which I think is most likely, it'll still take a ton, especially with rocks. So I think Z fight is fine. I think I he's think gonna, he go I think he's gonna try and challenge me. Well, you're, if he's, he's Scarf, he can't. So, right, right. like, I'm expecting him to switch out, but whatever he switches into is going to take a ton of damage anyways. Yeah, and it is Tornadus. Tornadus. I was thinking of Knockoff just for the Tornadus, but this is fine. Still, yeah, that does a ton of damage. And now we can, um... We can actually go... Well, no, we can't go T-Tar. These like to run Superpower. Um... All right. I'll leave this up to you. If you think he's going to Superpower, go Mimikyu. If you think he's going to... If you think he's going to Hurricane, go T-Tar. Both of those miss. Um, uh, Hurricane does not. No. Hurricane oh no no no! Rains up. Sorry. Yeah. And also, superpower doesn't miss. You're thinking Focus Blast. I think Mimikyu is safer because it doesn't really do much anymore. So I think sacking Mimikyu is the safe play. Although, like, my gut's telling me he's gonna Hurricane, but like, it, it doesn't really matter. Like, it's not worth risking when Mimikyu's kind of done its job already. Put a nice dent into the into the uh, the Ferrothorn. Yeah, I did Hurricane. I know these players, man. <laughs> um, so now let's see. You can go. <laughs> actually, know what? You can go. Uh, I think you can go Rabombi here and actually just Moonblast him. Yeah. So I swear to God, if he's Scarf, I'll scream. But I, I really don't think this is Scarf. This is probably his Z Move user since his Cartana is Scarf. What's so that's going to go down. What's the fastest I, Pokemon? Uh, like, in... What do you mean? Like, you, we're talking about Rabombi being super fast. Oh, HP fire this right now. Oh, talking about Rabombi being crazy for... Wait. Even yeah. though he's going to... Oh, I have Focus Sash. Um, yep. Oh, and he tried to predict you too. So you don't even go down to your Sash. Man, he's got to know that these are always Focus Sash. I don't know why he made that play. Uh, but the rain is back up, which is a little annoying, but not the end of the world. Um, I would just Moonblast this for damage. Nice, he can't come back in on rocks now. Oh, just kidding. I mean, you can get a crit potentially, so just keep 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 fishing for it. So like, Rabombi's is at 381. Who's is higher yeah, than that? Yeah, that's incredible. What's higher than Rabombi? Uh, Tapu Koko. In OU, Tapu Koko. So what's cool about this, by the way, even though he's slowly gaining more health than we're doing, he's stalling out his rain turns. And on the last turn, which is right now, don't click, don't click, don't click, don't click. Ah, I would stun ah, sport cancel. here. I would stun sport here. Because you know he's going to roost again? Oh my god, he did. <laughs> I'm so upset. That was his... Oh, that wasn't last turn of rain. I'm drunk. Um, you can go T-Tar, <laughs> though. You can go T-Tar and... Uh, Thunder Punch. Uh, you can Dragon oh. Dance. Uh, yeah, yeah Thunder Punch is probably better. Well, no, it's kind of scary because... Wait, no, no, we, no, haven't, we haven't shown... 
We haven't shown anything. He doesn't know I'm Thunder Punch. Right, but he would probably go Swampert anticipating the rock move. So I... Th and we can't really live in Earthquake. Oh, he went for Earthworm. Did you Dragon Dance? Nice. All right, yeah, now you can just crunch. I, this looks like a win to me, except I don't know what this is. Swampert's... This is still tough. That Swampert is a threat. That Swampert is a huge threat, and we, we really needed damage on it earlier. Um, But now, yeah, he's got to go Pelipper, so you can crunch this and knock it out. So at this point, it should be a win. Because he's going to go Swampert. You can sack um, Tapu Lele. Then go back to Swamp to Tyranitar that way it'll to get, get rid, rid of, the, of rain. the rain. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You said right, sack you the Lele? Yeah. Because Kartana can just leaf blade him after you get rid of the rain. Now to Kart no, to no, Tyranitar. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now you just attack and sack. You just crunch this. Yep. Cool. The only thing I was worried about is if this had rain dance on it. That would that would have been that would That would, have would be cool. Crazy. I tip. I run that actually. I tip it when I use Mega Swampert. I usually have Rain Dance as its fourth move because I don't like Power Punch that much, even though it can be really good. Jeez. So nice. This team actually had a, a reasonable matchup against Rain, unlike the last one we did, unlike the last team we used. All right, we've done three. Um, actually, you know what? That's probably going to be the end of that video. Yeah, that was a good game. That's we, a good did, we did three great videos. So let's do a proper outro this time. If you enjoyed the team that we checked out today, hit the thumbs up down below. Do do two things real quick. One, check out Kino. His link is yeah. always in the description. Follow him on Twitter. I'm going to have to go back and update all the links. Oh. <laughs> anyway, check him out on Twitter. Uh, check out PokeAim. Uh, if you're watching this, you've you've seen PokeAim. But uh, <laughs> you can find the team in the description. And we'll see you for the next battle video. Until then. Spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.